Hey everyone, Mike at Northwest Bus Sales here. Today we're going to check out this 2007 Ford Eldorado Aerotech 16 and 2 minibus. It's on the E450 chassis. Let's check it out. Start off in the front here. <clears throat> it's got your 6.8 liter V10. <clears throat> Smooth running engine. They've made a ton of these things. They're just super reliable, smooth engines, make good power. I like them. Uh, we can check out this front tire here. Check the tread on it. It looks pretty nice. It's Toyo. Toyo Open Country HT. Can't go wrong with Toyo tires. They make a good tire. A lot of siping on them. Good highway tire. Jack's showing you. Jack's behind the camera. He's showing you the undercarriage under the bottom of the engine there. So let's go ahead and take a, uh, take a step inside. Step treads look nice, nice and solid. Flooring's not worn out. Let's take a seat behind the wheel here. Might be kind of hard to see on camera because the, the headlights are on, but it's got 152,689.5 miles. So, pretty low miles for a, for a 2007. Should have a lot more to go. Um, yeah, no warning lights on or anything like that. You know, on the left here, we've got a nice little map, little reading light. And then, looking up above, <clears throat> we have power mirrors which is a very nice feature on these buses. The driver doesn't have to get out, especially on that passenger side mirror, <clears throat> doesn't have to get out, move it a little bit, jump back behind the wheel, check it, jump out, move it again more. Just one straight shot here. So going across the dashboard here, we have our uh, rear heat controls, our fan, dome lights, wheelchair lift, uh, AC control, HVAC, our CD player, interlock for the wheelchair lift, and our DVD player. This bus does have a DVD entertainment system in it. Um, panning down, this has a manual uh, passenger loading door. Kind of cool, kind of old school, you know? One less thing to break too. So, as Jack just showed you there, operates nice and smooth. Moving on to the back of the bus, we have stanchion on your left, stainless grab, oh, I forgot to mention, it's got dual grab rails coming up the steps here, dual stainless grab rails. And nice stanchion here, black padding, hides the dirt. You know, some of the other ones that are brighter colors, they get dirty, more, more work to clean them, keep them clean, so uh, that's nice. Um, the 16 and two, so, 16 room for 16 passengers and two wheelchairs uh, or with the, the flip seat in the back we can hold all 18 passengers um, these are kind of a cool hybrid seat with easy to clean vinyl on the bottom friedman featherweights mid backs with grab these are mid backs yeah mid backs with grab with grab handles kind of a nice clean design on them i like it Matches with the green vinyl. Um, aisle side armrest, as well as armrest for the, the wall, wall passengers. Uh, flap seat belts. These have windows here. These are your standard uh, shuttle bus windows with the T sliders. Get a little ventilation going on. One other nice feature about this bus is the overhead storage. And it's just a clean, clean uh, FRP uh, interior and just a nice design. Easy to clean, easy to maintain, again. Uh, another nice feature about this bus is it has the, the interior lights, believe it or not, are underneath the uh, overhead parcel racks. And might seem kind of weird saying that, but if the lights are above them, if you put a lot of baggage up there, 
then sometimes the baggage blocks the light. So at night, it's kind of hard to see walking around in the bus. So moving on, uh, Jack will probably turn around and show you the, uh, the TV screens. This bus has four of them. Uh, the, the fourth one is not working at the moment. That's something we could, we could look into for you if you want the entertainment system fully functional. Moving on to the back, we have your access plate on the floor here for your fuel pump. Don't have to drop the gas tank if you need to service the uh, fuel pump or the filter and uh, sending unit for the fuel gauge. We have the rear AC. Uh, moving on down, we have this is the one, this is the, this is the flip seat in the back. So if you don't have any wheelchair passengers, you, know, you have the option of carrying two two passengers in this seat here. And this seat does flip up against the wall. I will show you how you do it. Just simple, simple levers to grab. Kind of give it a little help back here. There we go. And that locks up in place. And you have, on the floor, you have the, the tracking. You can mount your uh, wheelchair uh, hold down straps in any position you want in these, in these tracks right here and sweet custom dairy gold milk crate to hold those hold those wheelchair racks and there's no charge for that that's that's we throw that in uh moving on back what else do we got here yeah, the floor feels really nice and solid doesn't look overly worn it doesn't look worn out at all um sounds cliche but it's a nice clean bus uh, again our detail crew does a great job cleaning these things up our mechanics go through them. They're always just nice, nice buses. We have a stanchion back here, uh, something to grab onto, especially if you're, you know, trying to help wheel somebody around back here. That's extra. Um, it's an above and beyond feature of the bus. Uh, we have a rear door. Another cool feature uh, that, uh, you know, it might be one of those things that that uh you don't know what you have till you try it i mean they're, they're they're having the access to the back of the bus whether it's for helping strap in a wheelchair or two or if you're just loading things you know a lot of motorhome conversion folks like the rear door because you can open it up slide items in here you know surfboards two by fours whatever you want um yeah pretty sweet or it's also an emergency exit case of emergency. Uh, I think that's about it inside. Once again, really clean. I don't see any tears in the seats. The floor feels good. Uh, driver, driver modesty stanchion, tinted plexiglass, so you know, your riders can not be blinded by the lights coming in the windshield, I guess. But uh, keeps the sneezes and stuff off the driver. Good thing to have, especially in these times. So yeah, let's go on ahead walk outside here and look at the rest of the bus down here in the skirt is the battery box give it a press unlocks opens up here's your battery tray pretty standard there maybe Jackie will give you a little pan underneath the, the bus here your rear rear drive tires tread on those looking pretty good rust free bus this bus does not have any problems lurking under the under on the other side you know no rot nothing to worry about there something to do to point out you know we're always up front about things on the bus there's a little bit of you know scuffage wear and tear on this bus a little fiberglass chip there someone must have bumped into it with something solid uh, Wheelchair lift, back here, rear passenger side wheelchair lift. Um, again, some folks prefer front, some folks prefer the rear. This one is the rear. It's a Rikon. Uh, the capacity, the capacity jack? 800 or 1,000. Ah, shoot, I should have checked that out. It's either 800 or 1,000. 
Oh, let's see. Shoot, I can't find that at the moment. We'll have to get back to you on that. Sorry about that, guys. Moving on to the back. Nice, clean back of the bus. It does have a camera. Your marker lights. Again, the rear door. Again, you can just, if you're having to strap in wheelchairs, you can just do it from right here. Really helpful feature to have. Lockable. Uh, moving on to the driver's side, you have, let's see, uh, maybe Jack show us. This bus does have more ride. Uh, that feature helps smooth out the, the jars and the rigid bumps going down the road. A lot of uh, people like it, especially in retirement homes. You know, just a nice smoother ride, especially this is an E450 chassis. So the heavier load capacity can make a harsher ride if you don't have more rides. The more ride kind of gives you the best of both worlds. And Jack just showed you the tire tread and the driver's side tires. Again, these are all matching Toyo Open Country HTs. Uh, underneath the bus on the driver's side. Again, no rust, nothing to hide. Lower uh, skirt mounted air, uh, air conditioning uh, condenser. Driver's side, open front door. We have this nice big step here. Solid uh, aluminum diamond plate. Sweet looking step. It's got a battery switch there. Really nice feature uh, in case you have electronics left on. Nice to have. Driver front tire. Tire tread. These are all pretty much matching tread depth in, these, in this bus. Well, there you have it. Uh, again, 2007 Ford uh, E450 Eldorado Aerotech 16 and 2 bus. Really clean. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, give us a shout. 800-231-7099. Uh, or email us at sales at nwbus.com. Uh, we can also help out with financing if you have any uh, questions on that. Uh, we can help out with that as well. So um, give us a shout. We'd love to help you out. Uh, thanks again for watching. This is Mike in Northwest Bus Sales.